Hey y'all, welcome back to B-Rack Garage, driveway edition. So there's tons of videos and lots of crazy stuff you can do with these uh, these fender flares um, on these Jeeps. They, uh, they, they, people use heat, all kind of stuff. So what I thought I would do is use a couple things I already had. I had the silk shine, the chemical guys, had the armor all from the $15 bucket. And I've had this turtle wax trimmer store for a while now, used it on my old 2002 Dodge pickup. It's plastics did the same thing. I don't know if it's a Chrysler thing or what, but anyway, uh, we're outside. hope the noise and stuff's good, but I thought the best thing to do was use these three kind of better areas. This has been washed by the way with chemical guys, Mr. Pink. Um, I don't feel like it's a fair comparison back there. So we'll just use these three cause they're about the same um same spot so we've got us three clean rags here and we'll just try um try a little bit of each of these i may have to read the directions on that one again i feel like it wants to be applied with a foam pad and this and that but we can definitely do these two on the first shot Hey, come on now, buddy. That's our little dog in the background. That's what happens when you get the outside, but that's all right. So again, looks fine right now. They always look real good right after application, but that was about three, uh, three sprays. Three on there, so on that one on the armor all. And that's just the OG armor all, y'all. That's not uh, that's not meant for the, you know, to say like restores trim, this and that. Same with the, uh, with the chemical guys, just to shine and protect it. It's the only thing here in the group that doesn't claim to clean up trim. Can't tell as much on the blue, but they're definitely taking off some, some coloration, which is great. Um, yeah, it does want a foam applicator and it wants us to wait. So we're going to do our, we're just going to do a light with the, uh, with the rag here. That was about one. Wow, it's just soaking that up between the rag and that. This, I believe, actually wants us to wait, y'all. Yeah, five to 10 and then wipe. So we'll give them all that five or 10 minutes, really also because we want to see how these dry and how they look after a few minutes anyway. So we'll be back in about 10 minutes, y'all. All right, y'all, it's been about five minutes and Chemical Guy is doing pretty good. Um, I kind of expected it. It's a quality product. Um, the armor all is not intended for this. And I will say it may be hard to pick up on the camera, but it is slightly better than it was. But compared to these two, no. Now, far and away at this point, the winner after about five, six minutes is the last product. However, it's also the only product that's marketed to fix this kind of stuff. So that's where we're at right now. I'm going to give it about an hour out here in the Texas uh, Texas warmth, and we'll uh, we'll see what we come up with. All right, y'all, we need some shaky handy cam here. But I don't know if y'all can tell right here, but lines here. I will have to say, the Armor All did the least, I guess you'd say. But again, not meant for this. It's but it's only slightly less dark than the Chemical Guys, which in my mind is a superior product. So good job. Um, Again, a little different here, darker on the chemical guys. So doing okay here. Um, a little surprise that Trim Restore, I probably should have put these next to each other now that I think about it. Not quite as dark as this one. Maybe this one's penetrating more and holding more. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the Trim Restore on this actual, um, this side here. But I wanna do some tests and just kind of show y'all what I thought. I think um i'll look up the current prices of these but um i i think it's you know it's a one trick pony now you know it's just for this but i don't know man if you're wanting to just kind of knock a little bit off of them i think the chemical guys did a good job and honestly the armor all did more than i thought i mean y'all can probably tell the difference better now and here and there so not too shabby but yeah i think i'm gonna spend a little time do the trim restore on this whole fender hopefully it won't interact with these chemicals too much maybe i should have thought about that first <laughs> but anyway yeah i think this was a 
pretty good experiment, guys. Hope y'all uh, hope y'all got something out of it. All right, y'all. Like I say, we're gonna go with the trimmer store on this one, this Turtle Wax. Um, got this at Walmart. I'll get y'all the prices at the end of the video. But it says uh, thin ribbon onto a foam applicator. This is the closest I got right now that is foam inside it. Um, and wait five to ten minutes, reapply if necessary. So that's what uh, that's what we'll start working on now. I do have this little bit of tape up. I don't think this stuff is actually gonna hurt anything on the paint, but if you can keep stuff off of paint, I think it's usually a good good practice just to uh, to get into. Whew, got lucky y'all, dropped it this side down. Man, fumble fingers over here. Sure, I'm in y'all's way. Apologize. God, I didn't put any tape on the bottom. These are the strips we had for the test just now. That's why they're not sticking so great. They're just stuck to this plastic. This stuff definitely has like a thicker much thicker like texture I guess to it uh, consistency but again it's also the only thing that's marketed for this trim I know we're in a hundred percent in the uh, anything is better category because I can already tell this will gray out a little etc but man it's looking uh, looking better we'll let this soak in and we'll come check on it here in a minute so I'd say about two, maybe three minutes per side. Goes on pretty smooth, actually. Now, this is a fresh application, but that's a crazy difference in just this uh, Turtle Wax trim restore. That kind of tells you how white and grayed out that was. Pretty uh, pretty neat so far. Hey, y'all. Man, that was fun. I've been wanting to do that basically since I got the Jeep. Um, I know what you're thinking. Not really uh, scienced out, and and you're right. I, a little bit apples to oranges. Kind of my idea for this was: Do you? Can you? Not do you? Can you get by with a uh, a kind of general all around protectant kind of pr product, or do you need to go the route of a full trim restore? Um, price wise. 16 ounces of the silk shine is about 16 bucks on walmart.com 10 ounces of the armor all is about six bucks on walmart.com and about eight bucks for 10 ounces of the trim restore so if you're thinking well i'll keep it on the budget you could get these two basically for the price of that and use this on the outside use this on the inside or maybe you're like nah you know i'll mostly use it on the inside and maybe I'll run it over my mirrors. Maybe you don't have like the big Jeep fender flares. Maybe you just want to do it over your plastic mirror backs and rear views or something. But I uh, I enjoyed doing this. I hope y'all uh, hope y'all enjoyed it too. I, I really appreciate y'all swinging by and watching all this goofy stuff that I do. I have a blast doing it. I hope y'all enjoy it, get a kick out of it, um, and and maybe even get something useful out of it. I don't know. But anyway, I just I really appreciate y'all. Just want y'all to know that. So thanks again, and as always. Get out there and make it be red. Thanks, y'all.